Hey, this is Vu, and today I'm going to be talking about when you should be force buying. And this is something that a ton of people get wrong, in that they either just force buy way too much, or they do it at the wrong times for the wrong reasons. And generally, it's pretty simple, so I'll try to explain this quickly. There are two main reasons that you should be force buying. The first one should be that you can get a lot of economic damage done to their team while taking very little on your own. And the second is that you can force them onto an eco with a force buy and you don't want to be ecoing yourself. Now, the second reason is especially applicable on the T side. The first one as well, however, it is also usable on the CT side, and I'll go over the both of them quickly. Now, the first one where you can do a lot of economic damage to them without taking much yourself is specifically in scenarios where you're going to be double saving, and that's when your money is completely reset. Now, this can be after losing the pistol round, but it also can be later on in the half when your money gets completely reset for example if you go you lose three rounds in a row you win one then you lose one and your money is 100 percent reset there to the point where it's just everybody's sitting on 14 15 1600 that's when force buying is pretty standard because then you're going to take guns out of their hands you know ak's m4s ops etc and you're not really losing much your own because when you lose a round and you go on that double eco, here's the, how the money works out. You get 14, 19, and 24. Now, especially on T side, 4,300, which is what you get for the second two rounds, is enough to buy, you know, not comfortably, but it's enough to buy on most maps. So force buying actually doesn't really hurt your economy that much it hurts it a bit it does put pressure on you but the fact that you could win that round combined with the fact that you're doing a ton of economic damage to their team by taking you know four thousand dollars out of their hands is much better for your team most of the time on most maps now on ct side there's a little bit more of up in the air and the reason for this is because first you can't get a bomb plan the brilliant part about force buying on t side when you're going to double eco is even if you lose that round that you force bought you can still afford to get a bomb plant and then you'll have 5100 on your first gun round which is more than enough to buy so you've done economic damage and you have a comfortable comfortable buy on ct side generally you can force second round but you are taking an economic hit you can't really buy up full m4s and nades you um you can't really get ops you want those full nades m4 is more expensive etc can't really afford to do that that much except for on certain maps and i would say dust 2 is not one of those maps because it's very easy for the team that's on an anti-eco to get close up on your team and or sorry get long range angles and it's very hard to get close range angles with those pistols however on a map like inferno map like nuke or even overpass you can force much closer range engagements and make those pistols count so again it's a calculated risk reward type scenario now the scenario that i discussed where you would be ecoing, but you want to force them onto an eco is perfect on T side, especially on a map like Dust 2 or a map where you kind of have a good chance of winning those that um, force by round. But it works very well on Inferno and the like as well, because what happens on a CT side or a T side, sorry, when you win one and lose one, and then the next round you look like you can maybe buy, you know, you have 3,000, 4,000 on some players. What's going to happen is if you win that round, you're forcing their team onto a double eco. And not only that, if you're on a map like Inferno, Inferno sorry, it's a double eco where they're expected to win, you know, 10, 11 rounds. So if you can force them onto that type of double eco, just by winning one force, you basically win yourself the entire half. Just winning one force round, that's a win. Then they double eco, that's three rounds in a row that you can force yourself up and win. Now you are taking a big hit because after losing that, you would have to save one. But the advantage you get from that risk, especially when the counter-terrorist team just, you know, it was like you won a few, they won one, or sorry, they won one, 
or a couple, let's say two or three, where they had low econ, and then you won one, and then they won the next one, even though they just won a round and they're buying, they're going to have very weak buys as well, because they get 3300 or 3350 for winning that round, that's not actually enough to buy. So what happens is if you full save there, a couple rounds later, they end up with enough money to get full nays and get a full buy, whereas if you had just four spot, you would have had maybe even a better chance of winning that round plus getting those double ecos stacked on top so anyways thanks for watching and i hope this helped